When my ship arrives in New York Harbor, they will ask me my name. I will say, Lina Brodsky. When I am standing in line among the hundreds trying to enter America, they will ask, where are you from? And I will say, Minsk, in Russia. The officials will ask me many other things. Am I healthy? Have I a skill for a job? But they will not ask about why so many Jews flee to America. They will not ask why the Tsar pushed us off the land, or why mobs attack our homes and shops. For my family, it was decided that my aunt and uncle were killed in a pogrom. My brother Isaac was the first to leave. He sends money back so the rest of our family can make the journey. Isaac says New York is full of great opportunity. It is bigger than Minsk, and there are many Jews, some so wealthy. Isaac sent a ticket for my brother, Jacob. But Jacob was forced into the Tsar's army, and from there you do not return. So instead, I am here. Mother and father will come next, if we can save the money. It took seven days to get from Minsk to Hamburg. It will be seven more to reach New York. Only two weeks to journey across the world. But if I do not pass their tests, they will send me back. And I cannot go back. So I practice. My name is Lina Brodsky. I am from Minsk in Russia.